Alright, to my subscribers, this is going to be a gear review. So if you want to watch a review video on a camera, then watch. If you don't want to watch, I'm going to be putting out a video either tonight or tomorrow that has to do with fishing. So either stay tuned or just wait. I was going to start a video, but I left my memory card for my big camera at my other house. So I got to go pick that up. And then we're going to get on with today's video. But I don't really know what today's video is. I'm not sure if I'm going to do... I have a couple things that I could do, but let's do that thing, I guess. Alright guys, I decided what I wanted to do for this video, and by the title, you can probably tell that it's going to be a gear review. It's going to be a camera review of my camera, which is the Canon EOS M3 mirrorless camera. As a YouTuber, as a fishing YouTuber, as a person that makes YouTube videos, um, a big part of what I do and what a lot of other people do is the cameras and the filming gear that we use. And a big part of my filming gear are my GoPros and my big cameras. So the big cameras are a big part. You want to make sure it has good quality and it's really user friendly. So a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I bought the Canon EOS M3. And I will show you guys it right now. This is the Canon EOS M3. It's a mirrorless camera made by Canon. It's part of the EOS line. And it's a very lightweight camera. It's very slim, as you can see. And I've been using this camera for about three to four weeks now, so I really like it. I know a lot of the features about it. But just off of a first impression, um, it's v it feels very good. It feels very light. It feels very durable. Um, there's a lot of options on it for a small and lightweight and cheap camera. Uh, for example, the screen has um, double hinges so as you can see it goes this and it also flips up which is really important for vlogging and making videos because when you're holding it out like this you want to be able to see what the camera's seeing which is good the only thing I don't like about that is if you can see the external mic anchor point is on the top so if you can imagine that you have an external mic here like a shotgun mic and you're trying to fold it up that's not gonna work just from the start um, you turn it on it turns on pretty quickly and you can go to menu stuff like that it has the uh, typical Canon memory menu which a lot of people like so the operating system is an EOS Canon system which is a good system it has a lot of good features like It'll show you your mic, audio, um, whether you're in balance, whether you're on frame, all these different things in the info thing. So the more you use it, the more you learn how to use those features. Probably my favorite thing about this camera is the um, flipping screen. Uh, it makes it really easy to get shoot from any angle when you have this um, diverse of a range. I mean, this screen goes from anywhere from on the camera so like this, so if you're, you need to shoot real low, you can do that to literally pointing at what you're shooting at. So this is the kit lens that comes with it. It's an 1855 kit lens, which is just a standard lens that comes with most cameras. Um, let's put this lens on and do some testing. So the lens is on now, so we should be able to see some things. Yeah. Uh, it looks really good. The lens is not digital zoom it's optical zoom which is good um, it has a range of lenses that you can add onto this camera so if you want to get a different lens and put it on other than 1855 you can but for what I use 1855 is perfect um, has a flat a pop-up flash which I really never use because most of what I do is video capability so that's what the majority of this video is going to be is about the video taking capabilities of this camera versus photo taking capabilities all right, so now let's get into the video capabilities of the Canon EOS M3. Like I said earlier, a good thing about this camera is the option it has for external mic because if you have an external mic, it's a lot better, the audio is better. Um, you have an external mic input here on the side, and then you have um, where your shotgun mic goes on top. Now that's perfect, except the thing about that is you can't use the shotgun mic on top and the flip up screen at the same time because if you can imagine trying to do that, you would have a mic here coming a little bit out to here probably and then you're trying to use that flip up screen you're not going to be able to put it up the whole way that's a big drawback to this camera that I found but the thing that fixes that is Wi-Fi capability so 
You can hook this up to your phone and see what the camera is seeing from your phone with the Canon app. But it's not usable with video on this camera, which really irritated me. I mean, they know that you can't use a shotgun mic and a flip up screen at the same time. And you can use the app for your phone to take pictures remotely in photo settings, but you can't start a video remotely, which doesn't make any sense to me. It would literally take away the fact that you can't use a flip up screen and the mic at the same time, but instead it's pretty much useless to me. All right, so instead of going into all these um, specs and stuff that you can literally just look up online, I'm just going to show you guys video taken from this camera um, to give you guys so sort of an example of what it takes video like. All right, so right now we are shooting off the Canon EOS M3 mirrorless camera, the camera that I'm talking about in this video. Earlier I was shooting off of a Canon EOS S Rebel SL1 which is a bigger DSLR camera and this is a mirrorless camera. So as you can tell, the video quality is very, very good. Um, it's on autofocus right now, so I'm just gonna test out the autofocus a couple times. It's really good at picking up faces. I'm moving right now and it's staying pretty good with my face. I have it on autofocus now. You, of course, you can switch it to manual focus and pretty much control the focus on your own. Most of what I do is manual focus because I don't really move a lot in my videos. Um, if I'm out on the water or doing any active videos, I put it on autofocus. But um, one thing that I did notice just from using this camera for a couple weeks is it it kind of has trouble autofocusing when there's things in the foreground and the background. So. It has touch autofocus, which means you can touch the L LCD display, the touchscreen display, and autofocus on that area that you want it to. But for example, if I have something here, right, that I want it to autofocus in on, and then I move it, it has trouble, has trouble focusing on one of those things when I click on it. Like as you can see, it doesn't take the focus off my face to move it onto this thing here, even though I've touched that thing here. But if I want the autofocus on my face, it does it perfectly fine. So it's really, really good at picking up faces and it's really good at focusing on faces. But it's not good at focusing on something in the foreground when there are things like faces in the background. And vice versa, if there's a face in the foreground and you want to focus on something in the background, it's going to tend to lock in to, onto that face a lot. So you almost have to use manual focus when it comes to stuff like that to eliminate that autofocus glitch. Now in terms of audio, we are using the uh, normal audio right now just off of the camera. I always use my shotgun mic because that's the package I bought it in So we'll see how this audio turns out, but this is just the audio coming straight off the camera No external mic onto it now I'm just gonna play you guys a couple clips that I filmed with this camera to show you guys the versatility and the focus functioning of this camera just to give you guys like an example of what clips are gonna look like filmed off of this camera video clip so here's some clips All right, so there you can see that it has good autofocus and it's good at focusing in on things up close, far away, and in all kinds of lighting. I really like the video capabilities of this camera. I use it for my videos and I would recommend anybody else using it for their videos because it has a flip up screen, external mic, and has good video quality and focusing capabilities. The things that I don't like about this, the Wi-Fi capability does not work for video. Doesn't make sense to me, but it, it doesn't work for video. Two, the screen gets in the way of shotgun mics. So you can't use a screen and a shotgun mic at the same time, which would make the Wi-Fi capability very, very useful for video, but it doesn't work. And three, the autofocusing when there's something in the foreground and the background and you want to focus in on something other than a face. It likes to focus in on faces, which is not a bad thing when you're doing vlogs, but when you're trying to do anything else pretty much, it's rough. 
So overall, this camera was, I think, 600 for me, but I bought it with a shotgun mic as part, with a Rode shotgun mic as part of a video creator kit. If you buy it by itself, I think it's 500 or 550, which is pretty cheap considering it's a um, pretty high grade camera. It's a mirrorless camera, which makes it cheaper than a typical DSLR, but for $600, I'm really happy with the camera. It does everything I need it to, and it does it pretty effectively. I like the camera. Just a couple things that are wrong with it, but I don't think you can really ever truly love everything about a product that you buy. But overall, I really like most things about it, and I hope you guys learned something from this video, and have a good day, guys.